What is the purpose of a refrigerator? It is to store food for a longer period of time. It makes sense, but we often put foods in the refrigerator that don't really belong there. These foods spoil faster, lose their properties and shouldn't be stored there at all. Some of these unexpected foods are listed, so be sure to watch this video to the end. Let's break down in detail what foods should not be stored in the refrigerator. Product number one. Potatoes. By the way, it's no coincidence that in rural areas, storing potatoes in the cellar is a good option. Because it's still better than storing them in the refrigerator, which is bad for potatoes. It's all about the cold temperature maintained in the fridge, as the potato starch is converted directly into glucose and uses up the extra sugar. This is not recommended as I have mentioned many times on this channel. In addition, storing potatoes at temperatures below 3 degrees Celsius has been proven to produce carcinogens when cooked, making them dangerous to our health. Product number 2. The next product is onions. It is not recommended to be stored in the refrigerator. The reason for this is that onions can become moldy, especially if there is high humidity. Therefore, it is important to store onions in a dry and slightly cool room, not as cold as a refrigerator. It is also important to never store potatoes and onions together, as they can begin to rot and spoil more quickly. It is always best to separate onions and potatoes. Product number 3. The next item is honey. Honey is actually incredibly unique as a product as it has virtually no shelf life. Often when we look at a package of honey, there is no expiration date listed. Some calculations even suggest that good, pure honey without any additives can be stored for about 2000 years. This may sound impressive, but I'm not sure who has actually tested this. Therefore, there is no need to put honey in the refrigerator. It can be stored at room temperature. It is recommended to store it in a dark place to prevent exposure to sunlight, as sunlight can destroy some of the beneficial elements in honey. However, if we put honey in the refrigerator, it will adversely affect its physical consistency and break its viscosity. Another useful tip, if you buy honey and freeze it at minus temperatures and it remains liquid, it means that the production of such honey is broken, it is of low quality and does not bring any practical benefit to our body. Product number 4. The next item is citrus fruits, which include oranges, lemons, grapefruits, and so on. Interestingly, it is also not recommended to store them in the refrigerator, as they quickly spoil and get covered with mold. Product number 5. The next item is greens, and here is where it gets most interesting. We often store greens in the refrigerator, but why do they wilt quickly and lose vitamins and antioxidants? As a result, we consume greens differently when evaluating their potential. However, sometimes people make the mistake of storing greens in the refrigerator in a bag or plastic wrap. This ensures that our greens get moldy very quickly and their consumption becomes impossible and unnecessary. By the way, if we find a small lump of mold in a large bag, we can't just take that lump out and eat the rest. We will have to throw out the whole package because the mold spores are already distributed throughout the product, even if we can't see them. Unfortunately, if the product is moldy, we can't just cut off the affected part, we'll have to dispose of the whole product. Therefore, it's not worth the risk. Surprisingly enough, the best way to store greens is to freeze them. As studies have shown, this preserves their flavor, vitamins, and minerals better than drying them. Product number 6. The next item is olive oil. Many of us have noticed that if you put olive oil in the refrigerator, it will freeze and become hard. By the way, there's a life hack on how to check if olive oil is fake. One way is to put it in the refrigerator and if it doesn't freeze and harden, it's definitely fake. However, some fake olive oils can also freeze and look quality. So, if the oil does become more viscous, this does not guarantee the quality of the product. The optimum temperature for olive oil is between 12 and 16 degrees Celsius, but it is acceptable to store it at room temperature. Product number 7. Many of us have noticed how garlic stored in our refrigerator starts sprouting at an unprecedented rate. While it seems like the cold should stop this, it doesn't. 
In addition, when exposed to moisture, garlic becomes soft and completely unsuitable for cooking. Therefore, it is important to ensure dryness and slight coolness. By the way, it has long been noticed that such products as potatoes, onions, and garlic, in no case should not be stored in dense packages, where there is no proper air circulation. This also promotes sprouting and rotting. The only exception to this rule is peeled onions, which can be wrapped in a bag and stored in the refrigerator for a short time. Product number 8. It is not recommended to store juicy watermelon in the refrigerator, as this will lead to the loss of its useful properties, especially the valuable carotenoids, useful for our body. The only exception is if we have already opened and sliced the watermelon. In this case, you can put it in the refrigerator, but it is important to cover it with a film. Friends, do you put these products in the refrigerator or not? Or maybe you still know examples of how to properly store some products? Comment, we will all be very interesting. Share in the comments, we'd all be very interested. In the description below this video there are links to useful videos on this topic. Subscribe to our channel, put a like and watch these videos.